On this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customized PDF contract from within your Podio app. It's pretty cool, so I'm going to show you how I set this up using Globiflow. And this is going to save you so much time. I'm not sure if you do all your contracts manually at this point, but now you basically can just click one button and the contract will generate for you. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to set up a workflow so that every time I click generate and save as attachment, Podio is going to automatically merge all of the relevant fields into a PDF file that I uh, attach on Globiflow. So here's how you do it. Make sure that the actual address is filled out because this is what's going to be on the contract and make sure your actual offer looks like this with the dollar sign because that's how it's going to show up on the actual PDF and if you have any fixed constants like what settlement company you use or what your buying entity is you can just keep that as a constant and uh, you can always go back in and change it later but this just makes it easier so you literally just need your seller name and uh, address and offer price. Alright, so let's go to Globiflow and create this workflow. So this is just one of my workspaces. I'm going to go into the Offers app. And if you don't have Globiflow yet, this is a third-party platform that allows you to create different cause and effect type workflows from within Podio. For instance, you can program it so that if you update a lead in a certain manner, like if you click a certain button, it will create tasks for you to do something and then separate tasks for another teammate to do something. Or you can update something or create a new line item and something will get created in the offers tab, for instance. I mean, the options are pretty much endless. You can create basically any sort of automated workflow that you could think of using this and some other tools that I'll show you. All right, so let's make this quick flow. New flow. When the item is updated, since it already exists, we'll name it PDF contract. All right, so you want to set your filter. The filter just means what happens first before whatever you're trying to do happens. In this case, you're going to want to do field previous value match if generate contract field before is not equal to generate and save as attachment. And subsequently, if it is equal to generate and save as attachment, so, in other words, if before it, this isn't clicked, but then it is clicked, which is kind of a backwards way of doing it, but if you think about it, it makes sense, then and only then will it create this action. So if I unclick it, if I have it clicked and then I unclick it, nothing's going to happen because it has to equal not that before it's clicked. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it works, trust me. All right, actions, then do the following. You're going to go down and make a PDF and attach it to this item. This is so sweet that it's ridiculous. Purchase contract for, click on this little boxy thing, and you do the seller's name, choose letter, and then at this point, ignore the header unless you want to put like your company logo. Basically, all I'll do is just copy and paste the entire thing. And then clean it up a bit. All right, so I just adjusted the spacing a little bit. Sometimes when you update it or if Sometimes when you paste it from Word, the spacing is all messed up. 
but that's all right. You just do a little bit of work up front so you never have to manually do a contract again. So I'm going to go in and we'll say real estate contract of sale. Put the actual address in. It'll show up right there. This agreement of sale made this. And we'll put in the date. Oops. Current date. Find between, let's put in the seller. And this is my buying entity. And the address again. And the price. This is all taken right from within Podio. Actual offer. Boom. And then we can put the seller's name again down here. And just so I don't have to sign it, I'll upload a picture of my signature. So what I did is I put this, I put it on my back end on my website. And copy the URL right here. And then I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so it looks legit. And then I'll put the date just like that. All right, so this is going to be how it looks. And this is how it's going to put in all the fields from Podio. So I think this is good for now, just as an example. We're going to click save. And now we can actually go in and test this system out. So let's click on generate and save as attachment. Boom. Almost instantly, the uh, offer was created as a PDF and attached right here. So let's click on it. Boom. It looks beautiful. That's all you need to do these days to uh, make stuff happen. There's really no excuse to automate your business in such a way that you can focus on doing deals, networking, and not doing all the tedious work like going on Microsoft Word and doing contracts. Just be willing to sacrifice a little bit of upfront time to set up these automations and I'm telling you it'll save you so much time in the future. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps. Peace.